Like one of Cromwell's speeches. <coughs> Just as difficult to swallow. So that's your idea of why I don't strike you? Well, you want a face like a... Me looks, never looks at a woman. What am I to do with her? I believe what I was told, sir. Get you. I really would try if I were you. Cromwell, are you threatening me? My dear Norfolk, this isn't Spain. This is England. Masters, there is among us a brood of discreet traitors. The witch deceit the king can brook no longer, and we, his loyal huntsmen, must now drive these subtle foxes from their cover. Grace, the queen betrayed you and stands condemned. The warrant is before you. I am a lawyer who has read the law. So? There is a law of this land that says it is treason to acknowledge any higher authority than the will of the king. It is, I take it, the will of the king that he shall divorce the queen and marry the Lady Anne. It is. Then the church in England must grant your will. Because it is treasonable to say that the Pope is a higher authority than the King under the well, law. Do you feel there's two or three over all others? I need names, woman. Mark Smeaton. A musician? It is true, I've heard her talking with him. She bade him come to her chamber and play to her. Music? She paid him over well for a strum of his lute, How that well? I'm sure. How well? Gold. Smeaton. What others? As my duty directs me, Your Majesty, I tread for your interests. Mm. It is thought by many that the Queen has bewitched you. Baron, or with a daughter, she is nothing for you. She can be seen to be guilty of so much that you are blamed for. I fear to continue lest I anger your grace. Do you believe this, Cromwell? Sir, uh, I am forced to when I consider the close detail. And the expenses outlaid by Master Smeaton. Where could he have got such monies if not from the Queen? A treaty with Cleves would drive a wedge between France and the Empire. Oh, well, let me see that picture again. Everyone praises her virtue, her beauty. Mm. But is it a likeness? Hmm? Master Holbein is generally faithful, sir. Is she musical? Does she sing and play the lute? I believe not, sir, but her needlework is unsurpassed. My lord, but how? You are a lawyer! I had a child with her sister. But she was married. The child could be her husband's. The affairs in France! Not conclusively proven, and without a bastard child... Find a way! and loyal soldier. What about him, Your Grace? Well, it appears that he is raising troops against me. What? In protest of the disillusion of the monasteries. Oh, now, the idea was to increase my popularity and put an end to papist corruption. Instead, my people raise armies against me. Then I suggest we send an army... What an army! They left you with 20,000 men! By the time they get to London, they'll be twice, maybe three times that amount! What have you done?! Your Majesty made a promise. Why should I care about my promises to that whore? <sighs> Your Majesty's promise is public knowledge, as all I know. I still don't care. I ordered you to get someone else. I want her dead. I want it over with, finished. Go and do it, or by God's blood, you'll join her. Warning from me. It was, as you know, from a poor man made by the prince into a great gentleman, then, that I, not contented with that, not with having the kingdom at my orders, <laughs> presumed to a still higher state. <laughs> my pride has brought his punishment. Grant me that when these eyes shall lose their use, the eyes of my soul may see thee. 
ask our Lord and Father that when this mouth shall lose his youth, that my heart will say unto thee, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. Your Grace, Lady Rochford is here to see you. Not now. She has news of her husband, George Boleyn, and the Queen. In the 28th year of the reign of our sovereign Henry, King of England, his wife, the Queen, being seduced by the devil, did knowingly commit incest, high treason, and offences against God. Wars are not affordable things. When I went into France, I captured the town of Terouan, which you called... A dog hole, Majesty. How could you say so? Ah, uh, I've been there. So have I, at the head of an army. You told me I could not lead my own troops. You told me if I was taken prisoner, the ransom would bankrupt the country. So what do you want? You want a king to huddle indoors like a sick girl? That would be ideal, for fiscal purposes. Is a great protest. England's just a stage to him. Who should replace him? Put it in the king's mind to appoint Audley. He's a good man. And he understands me, I think. Do you think that someone does? That money belongs to the church. <laughs> the king is the church. Surely you cannot argue with that. The money should be used at least in part for charitable endeavours. Oh, don't tell me you've developed a conscience now. I have received many petitions over the past month from remarkable thinkers with inspiring visions of how to put the income to good use, educating a new generation. True reform. Remarkable thinkers and inspiring visions will not yeah. save the king. There's no credible heir, country will ascend it. The chaos of the king would... What a what? Uh, 